Hello everybody, Savik here, and today we are going to be teaching underwater gliding, which is an incredibly useful technique in Dry Lagoon. However, it does have several other useful applications as well. Let's just take a look at how much time underwater gliding saves to grab this piece. Performing the technique is actually very simple. Just do a glide reset as you normally would do. However, continue holding B and you will enable underwater gliding. Now that you can perform the basic technique, it's time to go over the advanced applications such as the ability to climb and dig on surfaces while underwater. This application of the technique is performed by kicking off of a surface while holding the A button, and after approximately 63 frames, your character will begin gliding regardless of whether you are underwater or not. Now that you're safely on the wall, you can dig like you would normally do on any other wall. Just make sure that you don't jump off or rise to the top of the water, otherwise your character will begin swimming. Now that you know that it takes 63 frames to initiate the glide, you can use this to your advantage to control your height. All you have to do is delay when you actually start holding the A button, and we utilize the pause to achieve this. You kick off the platform as you normally would while continuing to hold B, and then you pause while still holding B and unpause with the A button. This will allow you to have a lower height which can allow you to get pieces like Turtle's Tunnel here. I'm going to slow it down even more, pay close attention to the inputs. The next thing that I want to show is that the kick off the platform is not necessary. As long as you walk off a platform holding B and A, your character will begin gliding. And even if that platform is already underwater, the setup will still work. The exact same technique can be used in the underwater tunnels in Cannon's Core in Knuckles section. The technique can also be used at the very beginning of Knuckles section to get quite a big time save. The final thing that I want to show is if you're using the skip in Knuckles section, you can do the underwater glide the exact same as we did to get into the Dry Lagoon Jail, and it'll save you a little bit of time. Just make sure that you control your height a little bit better than I did here. Anyway, that's all from me for now, but hopefully there will be more tutorials coming soon. Good luck!